What's going on guys? Oh my god, Zilla back here with a very exciting video guys. We have the second trailer for Godzilla X Kong the New Empire and this thing looks amazing guys. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this trailer and break it down trying to catch everything all the little easter eggs all the details. I'm gonna miss some stuff I'm sure of it. So point it out in the comments guys. Let's discuss this movie. I'm super stoked for it. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into this trailer. For centuries there was harmony. The Titans were the guardians of nature, and the great apes became the protectors of humanity. So guys, with that first chunk of the trailer, we hear that the Titans are the guardians of nature, the great apes guard and protect humanity. We do see Kong coming out of uh, wherever he is in Egypt or so, and we do see Godzilla. Here he is pre-evolved. You can see his blue is still there, and we also see a cool shot of him post-evolved, breaking through a bridge, and then we cut to underwater, and this is one of the coolest shots of Godzilla ever. Super cool. And this shot of Godzilla actually really, really reminds me of this shot of Mechagodzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. And then we do get another shot of Kong hanging out in the Hollow Earth, and then I assume he and Gia are both hanging out in the Hollow Earth, sharing a nice little moment there. Holy wow, is there a lot to break down in that little shot. So we see Gia kind of seeing some floating stuff. No idea what that is, a little snow of fur or something. And then we see a bunch of little clips. And the first of which, guys, Gia is like checking out some stuff. Her arm is doing some weird stuff, fairy dust type stuff maybe, bringing me to this shot here. That totally looks like Mothra to me. That is looks like the reflection of her eye. To me, this is more confirmation. We are getting the return of the queen. And then we see Godzilla, guys, do an atomic pulse without Mothra's help. And then, check out this shot. Blink and you'll miss it, but we do get a shot of Kong fighting Scar King over here. I assume that's what that is. It's definitely Scar King. And then moving over here, guys, we can see Godzilla fighting Shimo. And oh my goodness, look how huge Shimo is compared to Godzilla. This thing is just massive. This looks to be Shimo's frost breath tearing through some buildings, just terrorizing the city. This quick shot looks like, looks like Godzilla's tail slicing through some buildings. So that's cool to see. And then we get this shot of Scar King and the eyes of Shimo. We move into another shot of Gia saying she's scared that something is wrong with her. I think she is super, super connected to these titans on an emotional and like a sensory level. We've discovered a signal. She can feel it. Kong, Godzilla, they can feel it too. Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. So that line that says that Kong and Godzilla are scared of something and she can feel it also, totally again, just goes to back up how I definitely think Gia is like connected to these Titans or Kong, something on just a really, really physical Earth level. And then we get this awesome shot of the king, totally juiced up, atomic energy coming out of every crack in his skin. So I think we're definitely going to see a decent amount of Godzilla pre his evolution. And he looks great. And this shot of his tail looking into the water is just so clean. It just looks beautiful. I love everything about this. You feel like going for a ride? Thought you'd never ask. Just try not to swallow your tongue. What? So we are introduced to some familiar faces as well as some new ones, and they jump in the new biomech heaves, and they take a look into the Hollow Earth through this entry point. At first I thought this was like a Titan containment facility, but now I definitely think it is just an entry point to the Hollow Earth. <laughs> is that a mini Kong? So, we get some beautiful shots of Kong in the Hollow Earth. And then, of course, what we saw in the first trailer, Kong meeting Suko, the mini Kong. I'm definitely excited to see more out of this guy. He looks adorable. Oh, my God. Taking a break after that short of a clip, because I think what they have discovered is a Mothra egg here. Totally looks Mothra color -y, looks kind of squishy like a Mothra egg. Could potentially be like a little Mothra membrane larva hatch thing. So, I'm definitely thinking they discover a Mothra larva. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war. Yeah. 
that's not just a signal, that's a call for war. Definitely some cool stuff. We see Kong picking up his axe. He and Suko are hanging out up top overlooking the army of the Kongs. And from the look of his, I can't tell what's going on. These guys certainly look hyped to see a fight. So I think these guys might just actually be on Scar King's side, maybe ready to watch him whoop some butt. Or maybe they're on Kong's side, maybe hoping he can defeat their evil overtaker. But I'm definitely excited to see more of what this relationship and whole thing turns out to be. We see Scar King jump down where he's hanging out with a couple of his, probably his right-hand men, and he does his big scary roar, which we now know is directed at Kong. Kong does one back, and they engage in a brutal-looking thing. It looks like Scar King might even be able to disarm Kong, and he whips his whip slash around his hand, and he just inflicts a brutal wound. It looks like the first time I watched it, I could have sworn it took fingers off of Kong. Upon rewatching it, he still does have all his fingers, but he definitely takes some big gashes to the arm from that whip slash. What is that? And then from out of the darkness, we see the glowing blue eyes of Shimo. So Kong looks like he's down here in the Hollow Earth on his own, fighting Scar King and Shimo. No idea how he gets out of this alive. But he grabs his axe and barely blocks a blast of that frost breath. And guys, if you take a look at his hands as we slow this down, he's collecting a bunch of ice. So I don't know how he gets away from this without freezing and just getting murdered. So I'll be definitely interested to see how Kong gets out of the Hollow Earth alive. Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. He won't be alone. We get that awesome clip of Godzilla Evolved busting out of the earth and him and Kong running side by side. Godzilla Evolved and Kong with his beast glove. The duo has arisen. And we quickly see a clip of Shimo freezing the water, blasting into the sky. This is the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Zooming in on this, we can barely make it out, but that is Shimo down there. It looks like he's frozen a huge chunk of the ocean, standing up on it, and just blasting his frost breath into the sky. We get another quick clip of some destruction, a little bit of a blue hue to it, so it is probably still Shimo. The last time those two met up, it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. The last time they met up, it was almost the end of Kong. Even more confirmation that everybody knows the king could have ended Kong had they wanted to. And it looks like um, when Kong surfaces in Egypt, that is actually where he meets Godzilla Evolved. So I'm going to be really, really interested on their timelines. How did Godzilla evolve and then end up in Egypt? And then how did Kong with his beast love also end up in Egypt? Definitely very interested to see how the two of them both end up there. That looks like it's probably going to be their first encounter of the movie, though. Now I have seen everything. A short clip, but a lot to unpack there. Kong just lays into a punch right on Scar King's face, not even using the beast glove, just raw fist right on his face. We can actually see Scar King is holding Suko in this pose here, so that'll be interesting to see why that is going down if he's kind of using Suko as bait. And also thanks to Louis Duran for pointing this out, but right in the right corner of that frame, we can actually see Shimo. This is his head, and you can kind of see his little pitchfork tail coming around the corner. That is just in the very first frame when Kong goes to punch Scar King. Here is an amazing shot of Godzilla. We see him doing his nuclear pulse. This is without the help of Mothra, so he can do it on his own. I don't know why the military's all over him, but he makes them regret it. He does his nuclear pulse, guys, and it is awesome to see this thing again. And uh, tell me something here. These two sounds are eerily similar. Take a listen. <laughs> Woo! See, I told you. And we see what I assume are some of the Iwi people thought to be extinct. Those are Gia's people. So it'll be interesting to see her reunited with them. And then we also see Suko just yeet a rock right at the face of one of these Kongs. And that's awesome to see. Ties into the toy that we have with uh, Suko holding that rock. And it goes to show, I'm pretty sure Scar King is going to have control over these other Kongs and force them to do his bidding. That's why they are fighting each other. We've made some minor augmentations. Oh. Wow. <laughs> 
Some minor augmentations, of course, they were talking about that Beast Glove. We get a cool Iron Man, Bumblebee suit-up scene, and Kong taking a look at that Beast Glove for the first time. Then we get an awesome clip of Scar King whip-slashing a building and chucking it right at Kong, and he uses that Beast Glove to just punch it. And you can see the electricity in that Beast Glove, totally a throwback to the electricity powers that he kind of picks up in the original King Kong versus Godzilla. I love that homage. And another thing to note, thanks to my buddy Monster Zero for initially pointing this out on trailer one, but here's a really good look at it. Kong has a metal tooth, so I assume in the fight with Scar King, the initial one, he's going to lose a tooth there, and they're also going to replace it with a nice metal one. There you have it, guys. That is the second trailer for Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. Not sure if we will get another one or not. Two is a pretty good amount, but we do still have about six weeks till the movie comes out, so they might sneak a third one at us. I certainly hope they don't give us too much more footage. I feel like this trailer was pretty good at not showing too much. They didn't really show, show off Shimo. I like that. They gave us a better look at Scar King. I like that. They kind of pulled me in a little bit more. Um, I still don't know a ton, a ton about kind of plot details and too much, so I think they showed just enough, but they are towing that line pretty closely. I definitely do not want to see too much more because I cannot wait for this film. Definitely go on opening night. I'll probably go Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's what I did for the last movie. That's what I did for Minus One. I just love going and supporting these movies opening weekend. So I'm super stoked for this. I think it just looks amazing and big and powerful, and it just looks awesome, guys. I cannot wait for it. Let me know your thoughts on this trailer in the comment section below. Also, let me know your thoughts on the upcoming movie. Are you going to see it? How many times do you plan on seeing it? I can't wait for this thing, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything Godzilla X Kong in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.